So for um, number 29, they want us to describe the solid, uh, given that this integral here represents the volume of a solid. Um, so all we're doing here is we're reverse engineering it to get the original situation that led to this integral. Um, so as we've been seeing when we're doing the shell method, if I have a curve like so, and this curve goes from A to B, and we revolve it about the y-axis using the shell method. So when we revolve it, we're going to end up with these, um, with these cylinders here. And these cylinders, when we open them up, we can think of them as an infinitely thin sheet of paper, right? And this sheet of paper it has an area. And so the height of this area here, um, let me put that into a different color. So the height here is just the height of the function, right? This is our generic f of x. It's the height of the function. Um, and so we can see here that this is f of x. And the base, the base is going to be the circumference of this cylinder. Now, a circumference is just, of any circles, just 2 pi r. Right? And in this case, the radius is in terms of x. So if I'm here, the further that I go along on my x-axis, suppose that this was, for example, say x is equal to 3, right? Then that would be my radius. So my radius increases as I go along my x-axis, and therefore um, this base here is just the circumference, which is 2 pi x. This gives us the expression for this circumference right here. And so the area... The area is base times height, so f of x times 2 pi x. And so the integral of this volume here, this generic one, um, so this volume would be given by the integral from a to b, right, of, we're summing up the area of all these cylinders, of um, f of x times 2 pi x dx. And so if we compare it with this integral right here, we can see that a is equal to 0, b is equal to 3. So we can say that it is um, the solid is, well, we know the, the boundary, right? What else do we know? If we compare this over here to this part inside, we can see that the 2 pi is there. And then we have 2 pi times x times f of x. If we compare this to 2 pi x times, um, let's see, that's going to give us x to the power of 4, right? Because x times x to the power of 4 is equal x to the power of 5. We can see that f of x must be the curve x is equal to, uh, sorry, y is equal to x to the power of 4, right? So we can say here that the solid is the curve y is equal to x to the power of 4 um, rotated about the y-axis from, from 0 to 3, right? Um, and so all we did here was we took this uh, generic curve, we rotated about the y-axis, and we saw here um, the form that it makes, right? The integral. It results in this integral right here. Um, let me maybe highlight that in yellow. It results in this integral, and then all we did was we compared it with the integral that was given, and then we said, hey, the function must be um, x to the power of 4 when we compare it, and the boundaries must go from 0 to 3.